The Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation is serious about propelling Jamaica in becoming a first world, first class country. And part of that focus is the use of technology to transform government and private sector processes. Take a look. It's all around us. It influences how we work, learn, live, play and plan for the future. GIS is the short form of Geographic Information System. It's a computer-based system built to capture, store, manipulate, analyze, manage, and display all kinds of spatial or geographical data. In geography class in high school, persons were taught that in geography, we're able to locate where features are using coordinates. That's the basis of GIS knowing where these features are on the Earth's surface and being able to represent that within a computer-based environment where that is seen visually. So it's a support tool that we use to provide additional um, extension to any business process. And with this GIS technology, the government has been mapping Jamaica's course on the information highway. Leading that charge is the Land Information Council of Jamaica, LICJ, a mandate held since 1992. Jamaica is considered the leading country within the English-speaking Caribbean with regards to GIS. We're able to provide direction, policy development. In addition to coordinating the implementation of a national land information policy strategy, the LICJ has also been instrumental in developing a national GIS network. And with the foundation set, the Council is now focused on establishing and implementing a National Spatial Data Infrastructure, NSDI. Through that infrastructure, government will be able to capture, manage, maintain, integrate, discover, and distribute spatial data at all levels of society. The LICJ's mandate is executed through its secretariat, the National Spatial Data Management Division, NSDMD. We provide a lot of technical support to all of these various government agencies that actively use GIS to carry out their mandate. We train these persons. Apart from that, we facilitate conducting GIS needs assessments. Government is currently the largest user of geospatial and related technologies. And that usage runs throughout government. It's seen in the water sector, transport, disaster management, environment management, national security, education, health, and agriculture. But no other area has seen the proliferation of GIS technology than that of land use and development. At the Urban Development Corporation, GIS is used to streamline operations in various departments, including estate management, business development, architecture, and corporate security. We are on the road now to our 50th anniversary, and uh, we see GIS as being that enabling tool to provide UDC you now with not just the way to make better decisions in development, but also improving UDC's image as a modern entity. The same is true for the National Land Agency's land titling, land valuation, surveys and mapping, and estate management divisions. A lot of the business processes that exist within the different uh, divisions have GIS tied into it. So for example, there is no way that somebody can, at present, um, acquire a new certificate of title without some work happening on the GIS end. The National Works Agency also uses GIS in project planning, land acquisition and location analysis. Everything that we do has a spatial component to it and it's hard to deny that GIS is going to play a role in all of that. Cost savings, greater efficiency, faster decision making, improved communication and better record keeping are all derived from the use of GIS. And the private sector also has been getting in on the technology. Increasing GIS nationwide is also a focus for the LICJ and the NSDMD. To facilitate this, the government has signed an enterprise license agreement with the Environmental Research Institute. That agreement has been a game changer. It has allowed us to be more efficient you know, in terms of accessing the data and um, using it to provide more information and to engage also with the public as well. What it does is open up a whole new world. So there are almost no limits to what we can do 
with the GIS and improving the way we handle our spatial data as a government. Public awareness has also been heightened with the GIS Day during Geography Awareness in November. That observation has been staged annually since 2003. In 2017, with the LICJ celebrating 25 years groundbreaking work, there will be a two-day GIS user conference in October. The conference will focus on national security for sustainable development under the theme Geospatial Technologies, Mapping Our Way to Secure Communities. As we strive to learn more about each other and the world around us, there is no doubt that GIS is the most practical and beneficial tool in this process. As Jack Dangamond, co-founder of the Environmental Systems Research Institute said, GIS is waking up the world to the power of geography, the science of integration and has the framework for creating a better future. We invite you to learn more about the GIS User Conference by visiting the webpage at gisuserconferencega.com.